Hello, and welcome to the first episode of a playthrough of a game called Night of the Dead. Um, I have skipped the intro. I'm now four hours of game time in, which is in the top right corner. Um, I find the start bit a bit boring. It's got a bit of uh, quests to follow through, which I would recommend you do because it builds up uh, some stats. Uh, so it does make you a bit stronger. Uh, so just go through those at the start and get those freebies. Um, I'm currently level 13, unlucky for some. Um, and I've put my main points in memory and strength for damage to things. Um, the start bit is a bit of a grind. Uh, I won't bore you by going through and chopping all these trees down and the stones, but I thought I'd show you uh, on the map. I had a spawn location up here, I've just run down, found a nice large flat area where I'm going to build my base, and um, we'll go from there. Um, it is on survival mode, which I believe is about 2300 experience. Um, I will bring you back once I've chopped some more stuff down, I think, because I've got to go farm a few things. So, we'll be back shortly. Right, as you can see, I've chopped down a few more trees, got some more stuff. Um, I'm not going to build any more of this. I'm going to go clear this building in front of me. Um, and hopefully there'll be a couple of items in there I can use. Uh, we'll come back and then we'll build this base up a little. It's not going to survive much of a zombie horde like that. Uh, I did get lucky to start with. I had three normal items, which were blue in colour. Um, my bow was rubbish. I should have upgraded it. But we can do that as it gets later. Screamers. I do prefer getting up close and personal with these things. Pickaxe doesn't work quite well. Missed. Make sure it's all clear first. this. Hopefully it's got a few good thingies. Well, it's got a gun. Cannot complain with that. These cases generally contain ammo. empty in this building unfortunately.
take. That's always a good find. So chop the trees. More resources. important to keep an eye on the health of the items we're using. It's on the left hand side of the set item on the bar. The lower it goes, the less damage it does to things. and start construction. So the idea is to put a series of straps together and see how much damage we can do. Uh, we will build a, a few pendulums uh, on this level. We will put a couple of these shredders just by the stairs. Uh, so the pendulums are three by one, so we'll need nine in total here. And we'll make a maze through them. zombie comes up it will run through into here this will smash it and hopefully push it off this side you don't have to loop round same again if not we're gonna have another smasher right there and here so you can see the maze starting to form that they've got to run through stand on the first wave. Oh, hello. Okay. Smash the base. Just run around and test my uh, trap for me, mate. 
mighty kind of you. And he looks like he's a bit stuck. Well, yep, if that keeps happening, that's fantastic. How much damage did they do? Okay, back to the trap building. Trap machines. These can be a pain to get early game. Entry for too many items. Also need to upgrade with bricks and cement. We'll need nails. We'll just do the first three for now. directions. So we do need to go get some more copper, I think it was. Oh, pieces of iron. Um, drop those in there for now. This can be a pain in the back side to shoot. Iron about, unfortunately. And then again, the opposite way around. <laughs> Uh, 
go, so they come through, and we'll be up here. Get some rope. before the wave. Wasn't quite where I wanted it, but that'll do. I need a way of getting down to that to reload. So we'll enclose this base in as well, door in so we can get in and out, just to protect these things at some point. Right, I think I'll go collect some more resources, so again, I will bring you back shortly. Well, out gathering some resources, not got much, but since I'm here, I'm going to clear this little shed thing be a few little buddies in here but hopefully an item we can use not today mr. charger various valuable materials. There's not that many buddies. However, there. using melee weapons can be challenging when hunting swift animals. Using ranged weapons like bows or guns can make hunting more effective. How about trying to hunt a small rabbit? Approach your target cautiously and aim for the perfect timing. but every little bit helps.
happen in dark areas, right? But a flashlight alone might not illuminate the surroundings enough. In such cases, try equipping a torch. The blazing flame of the torch will brightly light up the area around you. Would you like to try crafting a torch from your inventory? I might as well chop some more trees down and uh, get some more resources and then uh, I'll bring you back and we're back uh, we're now on hour 19 of the day so we've got five hours left uh, we need to get a couple more traps built so we'll do that now probably put some torches in the base as well light it up so you can see it from afar and maybe clear that house over there with the red roof so uh, we need a couple of ground traps. These bad boys. Uh, so there and there will do for now. As they run through. I should get a couple more trap machines actually. Make a few more. We'll see how much time we've got. Uh, some lights. Let's light this place up. Quest complete. Happy days. Oh, I need more materials. Um, so let's drop some stuff off and go to the house. to repair in this bow as well.
peek. is always good. Quickly check round the back for the other bits and pieces. Test for my base. Zombies going. 
Now, I'll teach you the next combat technique. Knowing how to exploit the weaknesses of zombies can make combat much easier. Being aware of their vulnerabilities means you can quickly eliminate the threat and protect yourself from further danger. Always remember, a zombie's primary weak point is its head. However, aiming for the head isn't always easy in every situation, so extensive practice is required. Practice using about a precisely target and hit a zombie's head. I should repair these items. So we need plastic and cloth. Nope, that's tape. That's plastic. In fact, I should make another bow. Find some branches. left. house whilst we're here. I should have there, but never mind. Zombie. 
getting a bit dark. These usually have coils in them. Not this one. Never mind. last house and get back to base and then check what quests we've got to do with a stronger weapon. Walk down the corridor. I haven't done has been killing birds. I need a lot of bird meat.
should really be getting some training done as well. So that's quite an easy thing to do. And that. remaining hours I will go chop some more trees down get to the end of the day so yeah I will uh, bring you back then and we're back uh, we've got an hour or so left of game time before the first wave. Um, we've still got a couple of traps to put down. Start building these walls around. So uh, we'll crack on with that now. Uh, first thing we want to do is get one of these here. Another one of these here. Uh, we do have a quest to build actually fences. So we build three then. Still open the side, so that doesn't really work. Uh, we can close it's it like winding up with old clock, you need to wind it up. To anchor uh, the winding mechanism, we still don't have a single twig either. Shall we reload the cover with a twig? down. Oh, we still need to upgrade these as well. Uh, cement and bricks. Always something to do. Pipe. Let's do the walls.
out of rank. Quick resupply. <laughs> Ceiling on top, so we can put the electricity stuff on it. Must be in that house. Still line it up with there, but we'll drop it down and hopefully Some windows in, I suppose. I am playing. cleanest base but it will do Now we'll have to demolish. We'll do it that way instead.
build a sturdy survival base, you need columns and beams. Not only can these elements be standardized, but they also allow for more flexible expansion. So we've not got long left. Anything else we need to do? Oh, it did kill a student, and we've got this. Um, stuff out. Might be able to put a wall there and block that off. But so a recap, they're going to come through here. With luck, get stuck on that like before. If not, chopped by this, bashed by these. Run around up here to where I'm going to be stood. Reloading the traps. So that's our little maze. Um, we will see how the wave does. And then uh, we will call that the end of the first episode, I think. So I'll uh, just stand up here and wait for it to be done. I'll bring you back when that's done. And that is the wave started. That didn't take too long. So they normally have three or four spawn locations and they'll just charge to the base. Which we will be waiting for. Stuck. 
I suppose it's technically that's cheating, doesn't it? goodies yet. spitting zombies when I'm doing that.
just take what we can. There we go. These are what we was waiting for. Thought we'd have them sooner by now. Think we to die.
and that's the end of the first wave. Uh, surprisingly easy. I don't remember it being so previously on the first wave, but hey, we'll take it. So, just as a bit of a recap for the first day, uh, we was spawned in here. We run down to this location, cleared a few buildings, started up our little maze of a kill zone, if you like, and started the construction of our base. There should be loads of space with room for electricity stuff on top. So we'll call the episode done there and we'll see you in the next one. Until next time.